All right, good afternoon, everyone. Once again, I've been introduced, and I'll, I'd like to introduce again myself. I'm Mr. World Rohit Khandelwal. Firstly, it's, it's a great honor to be here. My mom always wanted me to be a doctor, though I could not be. But standing before all the future doctors here, I'm pretty sure she's watching me live, and she's very happy about it. So thanks to the AIMS team, TEDx team, for giving me this opportunity. Ago, people knew who Rohit Khandelwal was. Three years back, I came to Bombay with two bags in my hand just to try my luck into Bollywood acting and modeling. Few years ago, five years down the line, I was trying to shift jobs from SpiceJet, Dell, HSBC. And I was trying to find myself, trying to where I could fit, but I was not satisfied. Few more years ago, when I was in college, when I was in school, believe you me, I was an introvert. I was very shy. My legs used to tremble when the teacher announced my roll number, literally to just say, yes, ma'am, I'm present. So I was really nervous. And as a kid, I was very short-tempered, stubborn. If I really wanted something, I wanted. Very much pampered by my grandmother, fond of food. I'm sure some of you must be Marwadis here, and you know how much we eat. So I've been very fond of it, brought up by them, pampered all the time. As a kid, I, I've always got a stage to perform. My mom always encouraged me to go for an activity. I started dancing. And over the years, when I came to college, I realized it's the time. It's time that I want to become an actor model, but what am I doing for it? So I plan to start gym. I went to my father and I said, Dad, I want to join gym. My two buttons of the shirts open. I said, I want to join gym. Academically, my score has been always low. And my father just looked at me for five seconds. And he's just trying to figure out what he has to say. I'm pretty sure you guys must have uh, known what his answer would be like. So I was not encouraged enough, but uh, I convinced my mom. I joined a small gym, a gym where even a gym shoes was not allowed, the typical Indian gym you guys know. But after that, I knew I need to invest in myself. I need to buy a protein shake. I need to go to a good place. It's very important to be monitored by somebody who's more experienced. Therefore, I started working. Whichever company I could. I worked in SpiceJet Airlines as a ground staff. And starting five days were really bad. I, mean, I was just told to stand in the line at the reservation and tell the passengers the way to the gate. And in fact, deal with the passengers who are very furious about the airline. Of course, the airline is great, but just dealing with all these situations. I remember one of the time my, I was in arrivals and one of the passengers abroad has got his fragile bag on the arrivals, on the arrival belt. And he literally took my case that I was, I ended up having tears in my eyes. But believe you me, that was an experience. I learned something out of it. Shifting to Dell, HSBC, I worked in all these places. Coming to, there was a time, I need to go to Bombay. I need to try my luck. How would I do that? So you know, my family is like a Karan Johar family. You guys must be knowing. There should be one son always along with the family. Everybody can't move out. So until my brother came back for doing his MBA, I was waiting for him. So I could just imagine as soon as my brother came in that Shah Rukh Khan style, mom is waiting with the thali RP to put Tika on his head. And I was at the back feeling happy. Yes, it's time for me to go to Bombay and the city of dreams. It's the time. And uh, so eventually my brother came. We discussed about him. It's time. I have to leave. I was very nervous because I had no contacts. How would I deal with situations there? I want to become a model actor, but how would I do? You don't know anybody. He just told me that, forget about everything. There's something you could never regret in your life. Just go ahead and try. If it doesn't happen, you just come back. I stepped in Bombay with very little budget in my hand because obviously this was not something which was very much supported initially by any of the parents also. Something which is, which is probably uh, most of the parents think not the right thing initially in the beginning to do. So I was living in a small uh, apartment with five people and exactly got 10 by 10 feet of space to uh, live there. To, and I remember those initial one week was so difficult in Bombay because this guy who's always pampered by his grandmother, always called by some of the name of Krishna, uh, Krishna I was always pampered at home, food is available on the table, but it was extremely opposite when I was in Bombay, a place which is very fast, a place where you have come for work, but you don't know anybody. 
Where do you start? What do you do? I remember stepping into the gym directly and asking some good-looking guys, where does auditions happen here? And that is how I started. I went for the first audition, rejected. Second one, rejected. And one of the auditions I still remember, traveling all the way for one and a half hour, and my pocket could only afford a bus, an auto, and reaching after one and a half hour, and it was for a fair, fairness uh, cream. So I thought I would look really good on a fairness cream. Somehow I thought a commercial like that is something I could do well. And I just told, sorry, you don't fit in. I said, I came for the audition, but, but you don't fit in. But I said, I traveled for two hours and I came here from bus to auto and I finally reached, it was raining heavily. And the person said, you're not handsome enough. Believe you me, at that point of time, I thought I'm the most handsome guy in Bombay. <laughs> but when I went there, when I see my picture of what you look Rohit Khandelwal now and what you look over there, you would accept whatever she said. So here I'll show you one of my pictures. So this was what I was looking like when I went for the fairness cream audition on the left side. <laughs> Though I believe, I still felt at that point of time I was very handsome. So there has been definitely a transformation. Transformation, especially your weight. I have lost almost 15 kgs. Very difficult, believe you me. All your life, 20 years, you're just eating. And suddenly, three months, four months, you drastically decrease. How does it happen? I think that's the, that's the intensity, how badly you want to get something in your life. And I, it all comes from your mind. They say change your mind and change your life. So this impact has definitely been there. So I moved to Bombay. I moved to Bombay and <laughs> so coming back to this picture, I'll let me talk about it before this. I'll just I would like to give. I started giving auditions and um, so basically I had a very less birth as I told you guys. Now how would I do, how would I go forward? I and there's something in Bombay, if you if you just stay back in your home one day doing nothing, this city kicks you out of its uh, own place. So you need to really work hard. And one of the guys told me this t-shirt shoot happening. It's just a t-shirt shoot. I said, what is this t-shirt shoot? And he said, it's a local brand t-shirt shoot that happens. It pays you 75 rupees per t-shirt. You need to change 100 t-shirts, which is a strong process, and they pay you 75 rupees. I said, that's cool, I do it. But they say, if you probably move a lot while shooting, it gets creases. You have to again shoot for the same one. And then within a span of five hours, and if you do a lot of it, the people, probably the producer gets cranky. I almost thought this is a cage fight, this thinking about. It's so complicated, but I somehow started doing 10 t-shirts, very difficult. I could just do 10, earn some money. After 10, 15 days, I did some more. And after a week's point of time, I could do 100 t-shirts of this local. I started off like this, only for the sole reason that one day shoot can give me a protein shape uh, stack that I can use and invest in myself to look more better, to look more stronger. So I believe every week, one shoot, is something that I can invest in my lifestyle, get better clothes for auditions, get something better and get more. This is how I started my journey from doing bigger assignments, from doing episodics. He asked me, and one of the episodic I did was pretty famous. It's, it's called Bigger, basically. Especially a lot of female fans have created after that episode. And then there was a break in my life when it came to the first television commercial ad I have got, which was within three months. And I could not believe. They called me up and they said, okay, you are selected for this jewelry ad. I, I could just ask them again, are you serious? I am selected for this TVC commercial. They said, yes. Next day I come, I didn't know who the commercial ad was with. And to my surprise, I see Karina Kapoor standing beside me. So this guy, all his life, 22 years, staying in Hyderabad, watching her only on television. Suddenly in just three months, I see She's standing beside me and that point of time, I believe Bombay is the place. Anything can happen. They say city of dreams and I believed it. So it was a magical moment for me. That is when I started thinking that anything is possible. Just keep working hard every single day. So that is after that. One day I was sitting at home flipping through Times of India newspaper. Yes, I was reading Times of India and I saw this article of Mr. India 2015 happening. And I thought to myself that pageants are something, wearing a trunk, I'm not going to do this, this is not my cup of tea. I was just flipping it across. In the evening, I somehow got in a uh, hole of the newspaper. And the next thing that I read about the article is whoever gets 
wins Mr. India 2015, gets a Bollywood movie. And that is when I thought, now it's interesting. So let's join. And uh, 15 days of time, I literally slept eating broccolis after 7 o'clock because I need to really look good in the first round and trunk. Got to directly standing here with thousands of guys from Delhi, Chandigarh, Bangalore, everywhere, good looking ones with dumbbells across, with resistant bands. And first round was literally I came eating nothing, thirsty because you want to look your best, you need your abs to be seen. 15 seconds my interview was done. And after that, top 15 were selected. We went ahead for one week of subcontest. Now, this is something really special that has happened in my life. I want to tell you guys about the Mr. India subcontest. If we flip on the picture back away before, yes, this is one of the moments which today has changed my life. So, I had different subcontests with Mr. India, best actor, photogenic, Mr. Active, where you need to jog for run for almost 20 miles, then you have a sprint for 100 meters, jump on the ropes 20 times, the third round is flipping a heavy lorry tire. So it was really intense, I never ran in my life for 2 kilometers, never. So I thought either I should not participate for it, it's better to withdraw because I'll be the 15th one out of all the 15. But something inside me say that, let me just try, because best actor and the other subcontests are pretty easy. If I crack this, then I think the title is mine. I somehow told me I believed it strongly. If I crack this, then I'm winning Mr. India. But this is the most difficult one. How would I do it? I just thought one thing in my mind that let me just run and not stop. Not stop at all. Let my, let my veins come, let it, my blood shed. I'm going to run, I'm go not going to stop. That, that's something which was there in my mind. And when I say I never ran two kilometers in my life, I never. So first round out of 15 contestants, 10 gets eligible, I was the ninth one. Second round out of fifth, I was the fourth one. And in the last final round, I won the Mr. Actor Sub Contest. <laughs> so that is the point of time I called my father and I said that today I have achieved something I can never believe I can achieve in my life. And uh, that is when I thought, if your will is stronger than the skill, then sky is the limit. <laughs> Going ahead, after that, eventually, as I told, as I decided, I thought, if I win this, I will win Mr. India somehow. And yes, eventually I won. Unfortunately, I get to work, I get to see Karina Kapoor again, which is somehow I feel she's my lucky charm. So just after a few months, I see her again. This time she's coming to congratulate me. Now, after winning, people thought I have a luxurious life, Mr. India. Some of my relatives thought I've been gifted an Audi and some bungalows all over the country. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, some they really believe that, but the things are not the same always. The next step was going for Mr. World as a representative. And just like Mr. Active, my legs started trembling when I see the extreme sports challenge at Mr. World. Over here, you see 15 contestants on the other side, you see 46 contestants. Six months before the Mr. World competition, I, I started working very hard in every aspect of my physical ability, on the aspect of communication, personality, special dance classes where I did some SWOT training. So in every aspect, I, I always believe whatever you go for, it's knowledge is power. I watch Mr. World competition every episode at least three, four times to know the winner won because of what? So I started knowing that social media became really important because every past winner has been really good at social. Therefore, I started becoming very active on Instagram. My Instagram started with 15,000 likes, 15,000 followers, and over a period of time, and right now I stand over 2,47,000 followers on my Instagram, and still counting. <laughs> So I was very introvert as I told you guys, but somehow I told this is necessary. If it's necessary, you need to put an attempt to do it. Try to do, force yourself a week, a month. It will be difficult. Two months. I'll tell you after 16, first day, you, get, you make it as your habit. And that habit will change your life. That's what happened with me, Mr. Social Media, Mr. Multimedia, uh, uh, my Instagram, Facebook followers shoot it up and therefore I won the subcontest of Mr. Multimedia at Mr. World. And I was doing pretty good even in my talent round. 
So with this 46 contestants, believe me, the 13 days, I would like to show you some of the photos. There was only one thing in my mind when I went for the competition, and I believe even in life. If you try to pretend something, if you try to be something else, and you go for a competition or even handle something really important in your life, I believe it never works. Simplicity, being humble, being yourself, however you are. That's what I've been at Mr. World. And this 13 days I was in Southport, London, I just enjoyed with every other contestant because my preparation part was done by then. I would like to show you a couple of pictures. So this is how, yeah, these are the contestants I met there. <laughs> Moving on. We, all, all of you guys used to have rehearsals every single day for 12 days and we were dancing on a song every day, three hours of rehearsals. So there was a great bonding. For the first time I felt, though we are from different countries, but I just felt end of the day I'm talking to my brother or friend. So that's the kind of connection end of the day. So we had an omelette challenge. We had a golf challenge. A golf team. Everybody was assigned a team of green team, blue, red, and yellow. Now coming back, so how did I win Mr. World? How did this happen? So that was when I won Mr. Multimedia. I was pretty good with my talent round. I've been myself. And every time, if I was supposed to be there for the breakfast time at 7, I made sure I was at 6.45. So I thought kind of being punctual, which has been, uh, you know, criticized a little bit about our country. Let, let's just correct that. So I made sure being punctual at every aspect. And now comes the finale answer. For a change, nothing was asked about why you want to become Mr. World, but how would you impress with your wit and charm Miss Miss World, Megan Young, 2014. And one minute of time. So what do I think about that point of time? As I told you, I want to be myself. I came to Bombay to become an actor, right? So why can't I be an actor? And suddenly, a dialogue of Shah Rukh Khan came in my mind. If you try to get something to drink, then you get to meet all the stories. But how would I put it forward? And how would I impress her? So I added an element of having a flower and later on I thought how well I can explain to all these people who must be thinking what I must be speaking at that moment. <laughs> so at that point of time, before Mr. World, there was a lot of, there was two movies that eventually went till an extent that I met the producer. I had several look tests and it was almost getting finalized but it didn't. I met the director and even a serial. And I was wondering why did all this didn't happen. I think the reason because God wanted only one door to be open for me and that was Mr. World. And this has been my journey till then guys. If I have to sum up everything in just four lines, I would like to say you guys, there's a quote when I came first time in Bombay, remember seeing living in a 10 by 10 feet in a sharing flat. There is one quote I wrote on the sliding door. I would like to show you guys that picture. So if I would like to read for everybody here. It's pursue your dream, raise your self-esteem, have faith in your abilities, and show power to the gratitude unseen. And I strongly believe in this. <laughs> so that's something I believe in, but there's something I would like to tell you guys out of my experience of whatever has been till date, the experience and uh, the achievements I have in my life, something that I've learned from it from different companies to living with different people, changing houses, relationships. Every person that I've come across in my life, my life has been like a chain, which has been interlocking with different people at different phases and different parts, whether it's working. And there is something extremely important a person has contributed in my life, every person that I met. Because every human being has something amazing in them that you can take along. Maybe good, bad, but there's something definitely amazing. So I've been really thankful to all of them for that, especially my parents, my friends who have been supporting me. And all you guys out here, all, all of them who supported me in my journey at Mr. World. So thank you so much, and thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you.